Hello, Cassie here. Before we get to the scripture, I wanna ask really quick, if you can please subscribe to my channel, that would be amazing. And hit the like button on this video. Mahalos, appreciate it. Let's get to the word. So the word that the Lord gave me for this week is prayer. And he's been talking to me about a specific aspect of, aspect of prayer for the last couple weeks. And I feel like prayer is kind of a loaded topic because there's so many different aspects to prayer. We could talk about it until Jesus comes back. But really the one that I want to focus on is the fact that prayer is the most underused weapon that we have as Christians. I don't know if anyone has noticed, but there is a lot of fear and chaos in the world right now. Low cry cry. So us as Christians need to know what we're going to do about it. And prayer is so underused. I will be the first one to admit I have underused prayer, I've underutilized it as the weapon of warfare that we have to fight against the fear and chaos and craziness of this world right now. So I just want to read a few scriptures. The first one I want to read is Philippians 4, 6. And you've probably heard this one before. It says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And supplication just means uh, asking or begging for something earnestly or humbly. So continuing to ask, ask, ask. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. So when we pray, we receive the peace of God that surpasses our natural understanding. That is powerful. That's a powerful effect of the weapon. And James 5.16 says uh, the effective, fervent prayers of a righteous man avails much. There is an active change that happens when we pray. Naturally and physically, there is a change that happens when we pray. 1 Thessalonians 5.16 reminds us to rejoice always, pray without ceasing, continually praying every day, all the time, in everything, give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. It's God's will that we pray, that we use our weapon that he's given us. And Ephesians 6.18 hits this home. It talks about, I would encourage you to re read Ephesians 6 because it's the chapter about the armor of God. Super awesome chapter. So after he talks about the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication, continually praying, continuing to ask in the spirit, be watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for the saints. So he's saying that Prayer is one of the weapons that we can use. It is an underutilized weapon. And like I said, I would like to be a person who utilizes this weapon more than I have been. So there are so many aspects to prayer. There's developing a relationship with God. There's hearing from the Lord. There's knowing what to do in difficult situations. But for now... Focus on what we can do as Christians because yes, we want to take action. We want to be able to do all these things. Jesus has called us as the church to help physically meet needs and whatnot. But remember that we are in a spiritual war as well. And the biggest weapon that we have is prayer. I mean, when Moses prayed, God heard him pretty much every figure in the Bible prayed out to God and God heard him and he hears us. So I would encourage you to have a conversation with Jesus today. He hears you. He loves you. I love you with the Jesus love.